ハロー、Welcome to QRTZ スクリチャンネル。My name is 純子塩沢、and she is my daughter、クリ。クリ has a very serious disease called DRPLA。It causes the brain to atrophy。Inherited progressing disease。This channel's goal is to find a cure for many diseases. And I want to share Challenger's life. It's great goal. Today, I have some big news. It's the announcement we've been waiting for. On February 12, 2024, An announcement was made by Cure DRPLA, where I served as a board member. The world's first experimental treatment for a single individual with DRPLA will be conducted in the United States in what is known as N of One clinical trial. N of One clinical trials are developed to treat one individual at a time. And they are not like traditional clinical trials for which lots of people can apply. This N of one clinical trial s is possible because in the US there is a path established by the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, to develop new drugs for rare diseases that affect a very small number of individuals. What the scientific community will learn about DRPLA from this trial and the potential treatment will help the entire community as they move forward to helping more individuals with DRPLA. This trial will utilize ASO technology in cooperation with the non profit organization n r o l e m This is truly the first step that all DRPLA patients have been longing for. In the case of my family, we found out 15 years ago that both Chiaki and Kuri suffer from DRPLA. At that time, Kuri was 13 years old, and it was said that she wouldn't live to adulthood. However, I was determined to save them. I reached out to doctors around the world and spread information about DRPLA. Despite their initial health, their conditions gradually worsened. They experienced seizures, personality changes leading to violent behavior from Chiaki, and the difficulties during this time were indescribable. There were moments when both of them were in critical conditions, and I was told that today might be their last day. Six years ago, Chiaki passed away, praying only for a treatment for Kuri. It was tough. I cried every day, but I also had a promise to fulfill. So, I created this channel and continued to raise awareness about DRPLA. I spoke at numerous medical institutes and universities about families like ours. And in recent years, there has been a turning point in the search for treatment. The research in the medical field has made significant strides, and we are now hearing hopeful words from neurologists. Finally, the clinical trial for DRPLA has been approved. This news is not just for DRPLA, but could also bring hope to other similar diseases, like Huntington's disease. And polyglutamine diseases. However, it's important to realize that the medication won't immediately reach the patient. Even if the efficacy of the drug is proven, 
There are various processes until its approval in each country. Kuri also wants to participate in this trial and is preparing for it. But whether we'll find medical facilities to cooperate with or if her condition will allow her to quality for the trial remains uncertain. I have a dream. My initial dream is to fulfill the promise with my husband and save Kuri. But that's not the end goal. There are many other diseases out there. I want to bring hope to those diseases as well. What I have felt for 15 years of activity, until now, I have spent my days praying for the efforts of researchers and doctors. From now on, patients of families around the world will unite and start a movement to get the drug approved as soon as possible until they reach patient. It is becoming more important for us, the patient families, to move. Do you have anyone with a rare disease in your area? Please share this video and never give up hope. This progress is the step that DLPLA patient families have been waiting for. Let's make this small but essential step meaningful and hope it brings medication to many rare diseases patients as soon as possible. Let's work together. So never give up. Tomorrow will be a good day. Thank you very much for watching.